Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the dragon icons as seen in Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2 and their history within Ninjago Dragons Rising and what we've learned so far. Because honestly, there were a lot of things revealed involving the dragon icons in Season 2 Part 2 and these things are going to be very important from here on out. With that being said, however, this video will continue spoilers for Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2. Keep that in mind, spoilers are ahead. So what exactly is a dragon icon? Well, as seen in Season 2 Part 2, dragon icons are essentially trinkets or items made by the source dragons given to mortals as a way to summon the source dragons themselves when needed. For example, at the end of Season 2 Part 2, the source dragon of motion gifts Lloyd with a dragon icon, a knife that can summon the source dragon of motion at will one time if needed. I do have a whole list of ideas as to when the source dragon of motion could be summoned, but I will save a lot of those ideas for an upcoming video. But for now, let's just talk about the history of these dragon icons, because believe it or not, we find out in Season 2 Part 2 that Lord Rass himself also had access to a dragon icon at some point in the past, this icon belonging to the source dragon of energy, which Lord Rass did ultimately use in the past to summon the source dragon of energy to Imperium, where Imperium was able to capture it and store it in the basement, using it for power, which ultimately might have led to the merge. There is still some mystery surrounding what exactly caused the merge, but we do know that the capture of this source dragon did happen pre-merge. So maybe this caused some type of unstable reaction between all of the realms leading to the merge. All of that we still have yet to see. Apparently somehow Master Wu caused the merge, so... Again, who knows? But regardless, Lord Rass was in possession of a dragon icon. Where exactly did he get that from? Well, as seen during another flashback of Season 2 Part 1, when Lord Rass was just a child, he was visited by some strange glowing figure in the woods. This could be where he obtained his dragon icon. Maybe the source dragon of energy himself found Lord Rass, saw potential in him, felt bad for him perhaps regarding what exactly happened to his family, and decided to gift him with his dragon icon, therefore allowing Lord Rass to summon him at will but just one time, right? Seems a little bit strange. On the other hand, maybe this was not Lord Rass meeting a physical source dragon, but instead finding a dragon icon. Maybe it descended from the sky or something like that. Maybe the dragon icon originally belonged to someone else. Or this could be Lord Rass's master giving him the dragon icon. Whoever Lord Rass's master might be, maybe he had some type of bond with the source dragon of energy. Maybe he somehow obtained the dragon icon, giving it to Lord Rass to fulfill his will eventually. Because remember, apparently the capture of the energy source dragon by Imperium was all according to Lord Rass's master's plan. Again, whatever that plan might be and whoever that master might be. If Lord Rass's master was another source dragon, I could see why maybe he would have access to a dragon icon. All we know for sure though is that dragon icons need to come from the respective source dragon that can summon them. So as we saw with the motion source dragon, that dragon icon was made from a scale of the motion source dragon. By that logic, if Lord Rass was able to summon the energy source dragon, he had to have had something physically from the energy source dragon. The energy source dragon would have needed to create his own dragon icon using a piece of himself. Either way, I am very curious to see what exactly happens with dragon icons in the future, and like I said, I do have a whole other video in mind talking about when we could see the motion source dragon be summoned, and what might happen as a result of the motion source dragon being, well, summoned. But leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments regarding Lord Rass and his history with the dragon icons, and what exactly was the point of capturing the energy source dragon beneath Imperium. Leave all your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for tuning in. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.